Welcome to Good Mythical More. <laughs> hey, 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 which means we're donating one thousand dollars to the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Services to aid in their mission of providing free and low-cost legal services to underserved immigrant children, families, and refugees. Please join us in giving at the link below. All right. You know what I just discovered? That we are going to discover some lucky charms, like luck charms. We're gonna play a game. Luck charge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Emily explain this. Hi. What else I discovered, Emily, was uh -huh. silly string. It, it's, it makes it. It's very satisfying to rip it, to ri gather it up, and then to gather it. Rip. What? Yeah, and then rip it apart. You gather it. Gathering rip it. is ripping and yeah. gathering at the same That's time. That's right, girl. You so invented a you word. You do it. You do it. And then. Ooh. Wait, let's be quiet though. It looks like little carrots. Try it, right? That doesn't look as satisfying. It's coming out weird. Because I wasn't holding it horizontally. What if it just turned into a sentient being and then told us the future? It looks like I come from the future, mm -hmm. but I've been stored in a can. That's like a Sesame a Street eye, eye person that's been in an accident. Um, so, so grather that. That's his head. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you know what? Squeeze a silly string as hard as you can until something comes out. Until some water comes out. Oh, look, look, Ooh, look at that. Look I at see that. it. This is turning into a satisfying look. video. Yeah. Look. Silly string juice, drink it. Drink it, kids. Okay, um, Emily, why Emily, are you here? Yeah. <laughs> I, you guys are the king of segways, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm here to discuss some lucky charms. Um, I will read you some that will be either fake, that we totally made up, or they are real historical um, lucky charms. They're like a lucky charm for someone. Mm -hmm. Well, they have various things like that they this do picture, for people. This picture never washes underwear kind of thing. Yeah, like superstitious stuff. This is things that actually happened or they didn't happen and you're gonna guess. Okay. You ready for the first one? Yes. <laughs> Can I use my hands to, that on this? That is one of the items we'll be discussing, but you know. I'm still thinking about that Australian man who jumped into the cactus. Can we? Can I hear what that sounded like again? Over. Zach, help me now. Help me now. <laughs> Zach, help me now. <laughs> you know, why you gotta be angry at Zach? Because it's probably Zach's idea. Um, <laughs> that guy still, ha you, there, there are scars from that that you will never get over. Not just emotional, but like literally, he did not understand what he was getting himself into. But Zach did. <laughs> That's why Zach was hopping <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> All right, Emily, All right. don't let us derail what, you. What All it? right, well maybe if Zach had used the Figa lucky charm, uh, yeah, he wouldn't Fica. be in so much pain. Um, it's from South America, mostly Brazil. The symbol is a hand with its thumb pressed in between the pointer and the middle. Oh, it's I got you know. It's a symbol, yeah, kind of. It's a symbol that is said to ward off the evil eye. Oh. I think. This is actually an offensive symbol in whatever country you just referenced. What did you, what did you say? South America, mostly Brazil. Yeah, this is offensive in Brazil. Not, not a good luck charm. No, okay. this is, this is to ward off evil spirits. The yes. evil eye. The evil eye. Mm-hmm. Is that your final? What's, true. True? It is a lucky charm. Yes. yes. Yes, indeed. Very good. So if you do this, I don't know if it, this is, there's different ones that work on like vampires and stuff. This one's for the lucky. Over the evil eye. For the lucky remember, eye. Like, remember the vampires this. Yeah. Well, I'm sure evil it's offensive eye somewhere. Just so you know. It's in case offensive you were in into Argentina. Big floating evil eye. All right, so I've got one point. All right, so the next one is, so in the 1800s, burlap was considered to be a lucky charm, and both rich and poor people would hang a burlap sack over their fireplace or hearth, if they don't have a fireplace, and it uh, would bring what'd you, them. What would you call it? Hearth. A hearth. I think I, call, a hearth. I think I call it a hearth. Right, and then you grather all of this up. You grather all that, We're put even it in there. your house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, so you hang it from that, and then 
This is uh, very give flammable. You, like, good fortune. You want to hang this flammable was. thing from your hearth? I think not. But it, fun fact, it's the reason that the, um, you know, the stockings at Christmas were first started. Ah. So this is like part of it. Fake. Yeah, I think the stockings at Christmas were started because they were actual stockings, not they were burlap and then they turned into in a socks. I think they started as socks. So I'm going to say fake as well. All right, you guys are correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Didn't quite nail that. You can one. still fool us later. Okay, cool. All right, do we have the um, the next talisman, the candy candlestick, not candy stick, although I would love that. Here it is. It. Is this it? This is a candlestick. All right, okay. Wooden candlestick is a lucky talisman that originated in the Netherlands. A lot of like hand carved wooden items. They had like animals and different type of things they would carve out of them. And they would be good for you on your travels. You'd keep it with you like in your suitcase or something like that to keep you safe and ward off evildoers as you travel. A wooden candlestick. Well, it's like a wooden carved item. This is a candlestick, but they okay, had ones that anything. were carved into, they're just like wooden talisman. It looks like a, a banister or a bed post. Mm -hmm. I think it looks like a big old pepper shaker from the yeah, macaroni does. grill. Yeah, um, yeah. Did you like any peppers? <laughs> remember that? Remember that, y'all? Remember that? Back when that used to happen at restaurants? <laughs> no, it was a. Oh, it still does. Adam Sandler character. Oh. Would you like any pepper? Oh. And he just kept going up to people. Would you like any pepper? Well, then there was Dana Carvey, was his, you know, mentor. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, he yeah. would. Yes! He put his leg up on a table. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kids! The televisual is televisual. See, all right. So now if I'm winning. If you rather buy the television. The televisual history is incredible. It's a Would you like it if I forgot about the Dana uh, Carvey. I am part. remembering that. Now. All right. So what's your answer? Uh, true. Uh, I don't think, as much as I am a fan of wood. Talisman. I don't. I don't think that. I think it would be like a little rock or something. I don't think it would be a full wooden candlestick. Huh. All right. This is just a piece of wood from the art department. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Wow, what what, what did y'all do? Was it a banister? Uh, it's my candlestick. It's your, it's your candlestick. candlestick. Yeah. But it was a banister before. It's that. your candles. Yeah, and then I grew up doing the candlestick. It was your banister, as your childhood banister, and he gathered his, his. Before you burned down your, your childhood home for insurance per, insurance purposes, you <laughs> you took that out and uh, made it your candlestick. You right, Lucas? Lucas. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's horrible. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? All right, bring it in, <laughs> bed burner. All right, um, here we go. All right. Oh, oh, a ladder. So, looks to be in ancient uh, Egyptians used to place ladders in the tombs of you know dead people, mummies, what have you, yeah. to help their souls um, towards heaven, climb their way to heaven. But not all the way, just uh, like ten feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? <laughs> you know the rest of the words. You've watched Handmaid's Tale this season. Um, it's considered. I get, a after sin. that episode, I gave up. You did? I just can't take it anymore. It's it's tough to take. At, at that point, I'm like, it, it's the same thing again and again. I, it used to be a great show. You got to watch to the end of the season. Yeah, you but gotta, they they keep stringing me you along pull with. Through, man. It's just horrifying. Do they keep stringing you along? Yes, like oh gosh, play, you can, can hang. I just skip? You can have. I feel like I could have skipped four no, episodes. You no, can't no, you can't skip it. You gotta stick with it. You got to stick with it. Uh, I so think that this, this is, is yeah. this makes sense to me. Okay. This makes sense to me. No. But it is unlucky to walk underneath. One. Right, right, this right, is right, right, false. Right. It's false. This is a lucky charm. Yeah. Oh, they put they put ladders, huh? Yeah, put ladders, ladders next there. to the mummies. Hmm. Yeah. I saw some mummies at the British Museum. You went to the British Museum. Really? Uh, yeah, I saw some mummies. And <laughs> you saw some mummies. Yeah. I just thought. It's kind of crazy that the only thing between me and this mummy is this glass. And, oh. then I, and then I started thinking about what I could do to break it. And then I started thinking, if I'm thinking this way, surely someone who actually would break it is gonna come in here. It's free, you don't have to pay for it. I have a feeling the glass is pretty sturdy. I don't know. It's the same glass they use at like a, a money exchange place. You think they're putting that much money in the yeah, mummy glass? Yeah, they put bulletproof gla glass there. You've That's been, what they use on You've been tech. trying to break through there? No. Through the fast cash. No, but, no. but then, but what would you do I with? Thought the, about it. <laughs> Never done what it. would you do with the mummy once you broke the glass? You'd like grab, you'd like grab his hand, and just his hand would come off. Yeah, you'd shake him and be like, "Wake up, wake <laughs> up." Well, I wasn't thinking that, but yeah. Or you kiss it. Uh, I uh, no I wrong answers. Thought, no, I also no thought it's, it's way too hot. At the was it really hot at the British Museum when you went? I was like, shouldn't it be cold in here? There's mummies. Maybe you're. There's no AC. 
maybe it was your reaction to the bunny. This is all good content, but I I don't remember. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> my answer is. You've already given your answer for that. Yeah, <laughs> it was a real. <laughs> this is all good content. <laughs> it derailed it's like me. handmade still. It's like, why am I still here? Before I give you this last one, this is the last one. Okay. Do you guys have any good luck charms? Um, I don't play those games. Mm. I don't think I do. Uh, I have some stuff in my backpack that I don't have a use for, like a couple of pictures of family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you got no use for that. <laughs> I'm like, I think that's like oh, a lucky, it's kind of like a rabbit's foot, but it's a picture. No, that's uh, a picture of a person. Yeah. Uh, to remind you of um, That you love. That's different. But you, of course you have no use for it. So. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, yeah, that sounded horrible. Okay. I got some stuff I forgot about in an old bag. You know, pictures of family. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, faults. No, I was asking you which one of you had. What were y'all's good luck charms? I was just curious. Oh, right, right. <laughs> just making small talk. Um, wow. Do you have a rabbit's foot, Rhett? I, no. I have little trinkets that I find comforting. Like what? <laughs> like what? I like, like little rocks. Where? Where do you keep them? In a little wooden box. Seriously? Yeah. Where is the box? Like you know, if you go to those stores, you every every few months I find myself in a store where they're selling lots of rocks. Oh, so you find yourself surrounded by eight-year-olds buying rocks? Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like the one adult man who's like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't steal it. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> I will buy interesting rocks. For your wood box. And then I'll take them out of my box and touch them. And it com and it comforts it comforts me. But it's not for luck, it's for comfort. There's a difference. Well, isn't that the same thing, you know? You could heat them up, put them on your bare bot. Bot? <laughs> Body. <laughs> you could grather them up, put them on your bare bot. But I am a robot, so that's appropriate. <laughs> Do you have a, a talisman of sorts? No, I don't need that. I have Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay, last wow. one. All right, I gotta tie you up. <laughs> what? Um, all I've right. got to tie Rhett up. <laughs> I've got to tie. Okay, thank I you so tie much you for specifying. <laughs> I gotta tie you up and put you in that bag with the family pictures. <laughs> I'll throw a rock in there. Keep you comforted. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Everybody. Like a religious woman. <laughs> oh, God. I, I was talking about you the whole time. But it did sound. Uh. <laughs> uh. You just strike. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like just spraying <sighs> juice at this point. That's definitely. Okay, guys, it's one more. We're so close to being done. End it! End it all! Okay. In the British Isles and other parts of Europe, there is a long-held belief that chimney sweeps are bringers of good luck. According to legend, shaking a chimney sweep's hand or passing one in the street is a harbinger of good fortune. And we have one that we found. Ooh. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, sir. Hello, hey. good to see you. Hey. Uh. Hey there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good sir. <laughs> My lady. Somehow I believe in that one. Uh, Spoonful I, of sugar, I call I, him. I, I, I think this is false. I, I think that they probably, no disrespect to Mr. David Hill, they probably didn't have a whole lot of respect for chimney sweeps, uh -huh. right? Right? Because they're like, are you just going my chimney? Mm. And so shaking his hand would probably have been like, a, like oh, I'm not going to shake that guy's hand. People have respect for Santa. Oh, good this point. is true. I think it's false. Good. So if you're right, we tie. What do you, you think true? True. It's true. Yes! Right. We tie. What do we win? Uh, oh, uh, just good luck overall for the rest of the year. There's only like how many? Not that many months left. So. Okay. Thank you. You have three more good months. Great. So many snotes, so little snotebooks. Unless, of course, you venture over to mythical.com and pick up a bunch of mythical snotebooks.